Adelaide's southern suburbs are growing rapidly. By 2025, it's estimated that an additional 9,000 homes will be built in the area, adding to the expansion that's already been experienced over the last 10 years. The fastest and most environmentally friendly rail line in the state has been built to improve travel time and comfort for southern residents to get them wherever they need to go. We have built a new 5.7 kilometre dual track rail line from Nolunga to Seaford, including two new stations and a commissioning depot for our new electric trains. It's been an exciting project for South Australia, being the first rail extension since the mid-1970s. It has introduced innovative design to deliver an outstanding outcome for the community. The Seaford Rail Extension is the first electrified rail line in South Australia. It will run new electric trains that are compliant with the next generation of international standards. They are faster, more efficient to operate, quieter and emit less pollution compared with the diesel models. Two new stations have been built with modern safety features and have been designed to make the transition between bus, car or bike as safe and convenient as possible. One of the unique features of the project is how closely the local community has been involved from the early planning phase through to completion. Determining the details of the track layout, depot and station design took many months of planning to minimise the impact and to create an efficient access for passengers and cyclists, while at the same time balancing the long-term maintenance and operation requirements of the network. The most sensitive area along this critical section of the corridor is the Onkaparinga Valley. After much research, a solution was developed that would allow the track to cross the valley while minimising the impact on the Onkaparinga River that runs through it. We have constructed the third longest incrementally launched rail bridge in the world by combining a multitude of skills from across Australia. The completion of this structure now takes the new rail tracks across the Onkaparinga Valley, which is more than one kilometre long. This type of bridge is constructed by casting segments in casting bays at the ends of the bridge, then stressing each segment, then jacking it out over the Onkaparinga Valley. This reoccurs until eventually both ends meet in the middle over the Onkaparinga Valley floor. This has resulted in the construction of an elegant structure that complements the valley rather than imposing itself upon the environment and has allowed us to minimise the impacts of heavy plant on the valley floor. It is fast becoming a new landmark for the area. Although the most spectacular, it's not the only bridge along the new 5.7 kilometre line. Four new bridges allow all major roads to go over or under the new track without cars having to wait at level crossings thereby removing potential conflicts between trains and cars. Passengers will enjoy the facilities at the new stations and won't have to wait long between train services, thanks to the development of new timetables. In building the new stations at Seaford and Seaford Meadows, we've used colour and design to reflect the young and energetic character of the area. The design and integration with other forms of transport will also make it a safe and pleasant place to wait. A bus interchange has been built at Seaford Station to make it more convenient to switch between modes of transport. The bus timetable will be coordinated with the train schedule. Both stations have a drop-off and parking area for those arriving by car and convenient access for pedestrians and cyclists. The wait at the stations won't be long, with trains expected to run every five to seven minutes during peak periods. The ride to Seaford along the new rail corridor will be scenic. Much care has been taken to look after the environment alongside the track and landscaping at stations and the park and rides add to the amenity of the new infrastructure. New ground covers, shrubs and grasses have been grown along all of the embankments. The species selected have been grown from seeds collected from the local area and grown in nearby nurseries. In particularly steep sections, a method unique to the state was used to encourage this vegetation to grow. A combination of mulch, topsoil, seed and fertiliser was sprayed onto sections of corridor in deep cut. This covering gave a stable environment for the seedlings, helping them grow quickly and reducing maintenance costs. The ride will also be a smooth one. Enough soil to almost fill the Adelaide Oval was removed to create an appropriate grade for the track. This resource wasn't wasted, with much of it used in the Seaford Meadows Park and Ride, a nearby residential development and in the Southern Quarries Rehabilitation Project. Next, the ballast, concrete sleepers and steel rails were brought in to build the track. 25,000 concrete sleepers were placed on top of the ballast, each weighing almost 300 kilograms. Almost 40 kilometres of rail was then laid to form the dual track line, including approximately 16 kilometres of track in the commissioning yard alone. A significant number of people and the diversity of their skills has been critical to the success of this project. 
Over 2,000 people have worked more than 1.6 million man hours to create this iconic project in South Australia. South Australian small businesses have been extensively involved in the project, with contracts worth more than $56 million being performed by more than 70 South Australian businesses. A large proportion of those contractors have been employing people from the local Seaford area. Residents and local schools have also been closely involved in the project. Open days were regularly held to update the community of the project's activities. A 24-hour, seven-day-a-week staffed project inquiry line was available to people if they had questions. An animation showing how the completed extension would look and function was available on the project website and really helped to explain what the local community would get at the end of construction. We also initiated a community advisory group with resident, community organisation and local government representatives. This forum was set up to share information and resolve issues raised by people living around the construction area, thus preventing them from becoming problems. Cultural Heritage Monitors worked alongside the construction team during Earthworks and a memorial area was created as a permanent legacy. The project team spent a lot of time with local school children to get these future users of the line excited about the project. A name the Viaduct Nose Competition, a bike ride along the newly completed Coast Divines Rail Trail, school planting days and performances at the community event were just some of the ways school children were involved. Students from the Seaford 6-12 school helped build a viewing platform to overlook the construction of the Onkaparinga Valley Bridge. The platform was used by many visitors to the site and the more than 6,000 people that celebrated the opening of the Onkaparinga Valley Bridge at the community event. It gave a great view of the finished bridge and the fireworks that celebrated its joining. Many of the locals are looking forward to the view they get passing over the bridge in the new electric trains when the line opens in late 2013, early 2014. The final element of the project is the preparation for the arrival of South Australia's first electric trains at the depot. Masts, overhead wiring and signalling have been installed along the length of the line. There are 220 masts and 15 portals along the Seaford extension, with an additional 108 masts and 6 portals within the depot. To ensure passenger safety, screening has been installed at bridges and pedestrian overpasses. When the first of the new electric trains arrive, they will be tested and commissioned before passenger services commence. Residents of Seaford and surrounding suburbs can ride the most modern and efficient trains in Australia. Come and join them and try out the future of rail in South Australia.